It is finally time to bring back a concept that you guys absolutely loved in the comments last time around. Today we are doing a rebuild battle between the likes of Inter with an incredible squad obviously and AC Milan. Obviously the battle between these two is going to be massive. It's not just the battle of a city but the battle of Italy and in this video We'll be going season per season, transfer by transfer for every single one of these clubs and trying to achieve greatness. The main goal that we're chasing down with both clubs is to win 10 trophies in total. Whoever gets there first wins it all. And on top of it, every single season, whoever has the top scorer, whose player has scored the most, is it Inter or is it AC Milan, that will decide an additional budget boost of 50 million for whoever wins that battle and then every single trophy we win is worth 10 million on top of it let's begin the battle right now with the transfers for Inter in the first season. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, revolutionizing men's grooming. Today, I'm excited to share the Manscaped Beard and Balls Bundle, featuring the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra and the Beard Hedger, the ultimate tools for your grooming needs. First up, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. This isn't your average trimmer. It has two skin-safe blade heads for precision trimming and smooth shaving. The trimmer blade has longer, wider, rounded teeth for a gentle, effective cut, while the foil blade captures even the finest of hairs for a sleek finish. I have been using this thing for weeks, and I love it. Just like any Manscaped product so far, and another one I've been using for an even longer time though is the Beard Hedger, your go-to for facial hair grooming. It features a titanium stainless steel T-blade with 20 length options that you have on the zoom wheel right here. From a neat stubble to a full beard, anything is possible, and it's also waterproof. It offers up to 60 minutes of runtime on a single charge and a sleek travel bag for on-the-go touch-ups. So there you have it, a Manscaped beard and balls bundle. Whether you're taming your mane or perfecting your beard, this bundle has everything you need to get to elevate your grooming routine. Get 20% off plus free international shipping with promo code Johnny at manscaped.com. Head over to manscaped.com and grab your beard and balls bundle today. That's 20% off plus free shipping with promo code Johnny at manscaped.com. Trust me when I say this, I use these products all the time. Your beard and your balls will thank you. To start things off at Inter, we are selling a bunch of players. De Frey, Sensi, Mikitarian, Damian and Alexis Sanchez have been let go, which means we are looking at a budget of... 190 million to begin with. So let's take a deeper look into this Inter squad, identify the positions that we want to improve. And for me right now, it is definitely center back. It is a center midfielder because Fratesi is only on loan. And then also a right back. And I think I have an idea that really fits the current Euros at the moment. As I am about to show you guys the transfers for Inter, let me know in the comments down below if we should continue this concept and which teams or which rivals we should be doing this with because last time we did this, it was a ton of fun. And I think this one is going to be sick too because I just signed Frimpong to Inter. And here is the thing. I have gone for multiple players from the Dutch national team. I don't know why, but I felt like adding a bunch of Dutch lads into the squad. Frimpong joins instead of Dumfries. Poop Miners joins from Atalanta into this Inter side. He already knows the Serie A. And then I also brought in an amazing centre-back and Miki van der Ven, the talented Spurs, formerly Wolfsburg defender, joins us. And all of that has been done for a lot of money. So 50 million plus dumb freeze for Frimpong. Then we have 50 million straight up for Coop Miners and 45 million for Miki van der Ven to make these transfers happen. We have spent a bunch of money leaving us with only 35 million, which I'm not gonna touch for now. This is gonna be the team for Inter in the first season. Now let's move over to AC Milan and start making some signings. First of all, let me show you the players who have been sold. Kier for 8.5, Giroud for 12.5, Jovic 18.4, Krunic around the same number, De Ketelar recalled from loan and sold for 22.7, Salamakers for 24 million, Loftus-Cheek for 31.5, and then madness happened. 
Rafa Leao's release clause was triggered by Arsenal for 165 million, leaving us with a total of 382 million to improve this squad right here. It's a ton of money. It's a lot of transfers, but I'm up for it. All the transfers have gone through. And now let me show you all of them. It is Odegaard joining AC Milan. Yes, the AC Milan uh, team has purchased the Arsenal captain. And with that, we have upgraded this team massively. Chukwe is a plus 140 million is what that cost me. But luckily, we had tons of money. It's not only Odegaard that we brought in from Arsenal. I've gone for Martinelli too. I've gone for a deal, a package deal for two of these lads to join this AC Milan team because I just wanted to. And then I brought in Kim Min Jae, the man who has been sat on the bench at Bayern Munich, returns into the Serie A and takes over his position. And of course, up top, if you haven't realized already, we brought in Gyokeres. He is going to be the one competing against the Inter striker for the top goal scorer in the first season, going for the big chunk of money that we want in uh, for that. And then also, let me quickly show you the transfer hub here, transfer history. Usually you can see the amount I have spent on these guys, 140 for Odegaard. And then we uh, brought in Martinelli for 80, Jokeres for 62.6, uh, Kim Min Jae for 61. And then obviously we are uh, selling a bunch of players or sold a bunch of players. So first season with AC Milan, I think I'm going to start off with them. I will sim through it and we'll check out the stats and how many trophies we have won. The season has finished and as you can see, AC Milan beats Inter in the cup final. And that is one trophy and 10 million for their next season's budget added up. And we will have to take a look at the rest of these competitions. Obviously no Champions League final, but AC Milan has won the title. Now that is two trophies already for AC Milan with eight to go, 20 million added on top of their budget next season. It can make a difference after all, at least can cover the wages that are going to go up for these players. But what I want to know is, how's the team looking? First of all, we are seeing Gyokeres on an 86, Martinelli on an 88, Odegaard past the 90, same as Magnon, and Kim Min Jae looking just as solid as Tomori, with a couple of situations that we can definitely improve moving forward, but let me see them numbers. How many goals? 33 goals from Gyokeres. That is going to be very hard to beat from Inter. Whoever is their striker will have to fix up that situation to get that massive bonus. So 50 million, I think that's the amount that we said. So let's move over across to Inter and see how those lads are doing. First season with Inter is done. No Champions League final. And I believe in the cup, we got kicked out somewhere along the way as well. Because yeah, AS Roma kicked us out. But in the Champions League, we got kicked out by Bayern Munich in the quarterfinals. Lads, it is not looking good for the first season of Inter. At least they are picking up a trophy right here. I should say we are picking up a trophy. That is 10 million on top of the budget next season. But that's not good enough. We got to be doing better. So far, AC Milan is leading. The only thing to save them could be that Lautaro Martinez had an insane season and had over 33 goals. The boys that we brought in looking solid. Van de Ven up to an 83, Frimpong up to an 85. But we do need to see more out of this team in the upcoming season. I might actually have to think about selling Lautaro Martinez for a huge amount of money like we have done with Rafa Leao over at AC Milan to make a couple of big transfers possible. I'll see about that. But right here, stats-wise, oh boy, none of them could beat him. So that means over at AC Milan... They get 20 million on top of their budget because of the two trophies and another 50 due to the top scorer belonging to them and not to Inter with Turam and Martinez. But first, I'm going to go into the next season with Inter and try and fix this mess. This was an insane transfer window. Take a look at who is walking in. You might be able to tell who it is by his tattoos only, but it's Enzo Fernandez joining us. I had an insane budget, lads. I will talk you through everything. Coat Miners, for some reason, requested a transfer. So he is gone. Enzo Fernandez joins us, but that's not the only one. You might have been able to see the others there already, but let me show you straight away in the transfer history. You'll be able to tell 
a lot has happened. Lautaro Martinez was sold for 190 million. Then I proceeded to bring in Araujo for 140 million. Kobel for 89 million or 90, I should say. Enzo for 40 and then Darwin Nunez for 96 million. And Pavar was sold alongside Lautaro Martinez to make all this happen alongside the original budget that we had. And we still have 50 million left. But this Inter team now, I have a lot of faith in. I feel like they're going to win multiple trophies going into the next season. And we're going to have a bunch of players past the 87 rating. It's going to be fun. But before I move on, I have to go to AC Milan and do some transfers there. And maybe make it even harder for this Inter team to be able to compete. Hey, no remorse. First thing that's happening at AC Milan is on top of the 190 million we have, we put up the 70 million that they are getting for the two trophies and the top scorer. And with those 290 million, the first signing I am going to be making for AC Milan is... Trent, yes, Cafu used to play for AC Milan in the right back position, and he thinks that Trent is an incredible player. So why not bring in Trent into this AC Milan squad? So I do have a bunch of money. Yes, it's beautiful. And the thing is, I don't have to sell anyone in this team like I did with the uh, Inter squad in order to bring in top players. So we can just work with the budget we have already because we have great players all around. The only position I'm looking at and thinking, or two positions, I should say. What I'm thinking I could upgrade is either Tijani Reinders gets upgraded, who I personally absolutely love, or I'm going to go for Pulisic, who, yes, is doing well for AC Milan. Do not get me wrong. He is actually doing much better than I expected. But I feel like I can go for a massive transfer at right wing here. Transfers do not decide everything. But at the end of the day, this AC Milan team with Rodrigo added into it. I mean, how are they going to stop it? How many trophies can this team win? We have spent Christian Pulisic plus 80 million to get this deal over the line. And Rodrigo comes in with an 87 rating. Guys, can Inter beat this? I actually don't know. But... First of all, let's go ahead and finish the season with AC Milan. See how many trophies they pick up and how many goals their top scorer gets. It is not looking good, Chief. Take a look at this. AC Milan in the final. It's not looking good, Bev. Yes, they might just bury Inter at the end of this season right here, guys. The ratings for the players are incredible. I mean, the lowest rated player is Reinders with an 86. After that, it's an 88. Can they win this against Barcelona? They lose on penalties. Ooh, that could be a big hit to AC Milan. Inter, maybe there's a chance. We got to check out the other trophies that AC Milan goes for here. Surely the league has been won. Oh, no, it hasn't. Wait, are they going to go out of this empty-handed? There's no way. Coppa Italia. Oh my god, there is no chance. There's no way this team did not win a single trophy. What's the top scorer then? How many goals for the 50 million? Gökeres coming up with 36. That's the number to beat. That would be very hard to do. Over at Inter, we had 285 rated strikers to begin with in this season. AC Milan failing miserably and staying on two trophies for now. Inter. This is your chance. Well, Inter had their chance to catch up, but I'm not seeing any cup finals. I'm not seeing a Champions League final, which means we have two trophies less to win. But at least I'm seeing wins in the league, and that could mean they go up to two. And yes, they do. Inter level it out. Now both teams have two trophies. Inter will be getting 10 million additional on top of their budget due to the fact that they won this trophy, which is lovely. I probably should have made it 20 million per title. But anyways, we're going to move on from this point on and see the team. Darwin Nunez, 87 rated. Churam, 88. Okay, what's the lowest rating? Lowest rating is an 86. We have two of them in this team. Surprised Enzo hasn't grown more than that. He surely will grow until the end of the season. I guess he's very close to it. But yeah, it is an amazing, amazing squad, especially with Kobel in there. You have such a high rated goalkeeper, just like Magnon at AC Milan. And now the goals, 37. I think it was 36. I literally wrote it down. I think it was 36. Yes, it was. 
So Tudam actually beats out AC Milan striker, which means Inter get an additional 50 million on top of their budget and the 10 from the title win, making it 60. Let's go into the new season with Inter and start making transfers. So instead of the 250 million that we were given straight away, we will have 320 million to play with. Who do I buy? I don't think I ever, ever signed Haaland into any of my rebuilds. But because we are taking this battle so serious, I'm going to take any step necessary to make sure we build the sickest teams for both sides. So, Inter is going for Haaland. Haaland in the Serie A, that would be a ton of fun to watch. Tudam, thank you for everything. I appreciate it. But just like Rafa Leao, we're letting go of a big player for the club. This time for Inter, Haaland is joining left-footed. Haaland and Nunez both playing alongside each other. Can you imagine the chaos that would cause? Honestly, just thinking about it blows my mind. <laughs> Let's keep going though. That was an expensive transfer. 150 million plus Turam, dude. And I'm done. I'm finished. I am bringing in another player from Manchester City. The purge of Manchester City continues. Let's just pretend 115 charges have gone through and they have to sell all their players because they're going down into like na National League or League Two, whatever it's called. Here we go. Rodri into that midfield. Chalanolu plus 50 million made this one happen. We appreciate Hakan. Rodri now takes over that position. And he is going to be amazing in there. The formation is going to be 5-3-2. But the proper one with the CDM. And that is exactly where Rodri is going to be playing. Allowing this defense even more stability. Which allows the likes of Frimpong and Di Marco to bomb forward even more. And I'm done with the transfers. Now let's move over to AC Milan. If we are going for the biggest names of them all, it just makes sense to go after Pedri. Tijani Reinders, I'm sorry, buddy, but I had to put 100 million euros in your backpack and send you across to Barcelona because it was time for Pedri to arrive at AC Milan. Yes, Inter might be stocking up, but over here at AC Milan, we are doing the exact same and we're taking it very serious. Pedri comes in with a 90 rating. The thing about this team is, it's so hard to improve upon it and it's going to be the same with both sides so for AC Milan it's actually only going to be Pedri that I'm bringing into the squad because even the bench is so solid so from this point on I guess guys it's just going to be a race to trophies who's going to win it all let's get to the end of the season with AC Milan the end of the season is here and take a look at that a little game in the top right corner against Real Madrid for AC Milan they could be winning the Champions League trophy against Vinny, Jude, Kamavinga. Some top players still left in there. Let's see if we can beat them. Our team is amazing. Of course it is. There's only like one player below the 90 rating at this stage, which is just crazy. But off it goes. AC Milan wins it. So that is one trophy added in. They now have a total of three. Big question now is they won the league as well so let's take a look at that AC Milan have you been able to pull this off yes they have that makes it four trophies in total AC Milan going towards that 10 at a decent pace but in the Coppa Italia they have lost against Inter so it will be two trophies only and the big question is actually top scorer wise 29 from Gürkeres but at this point Money really isn't an issue anyways because, you know, even after signing these players, I am left with hundreds of millions because the team itself is already so ridiculous. But then again, I could be signing players for the bench and make it all worth it. But they would all be complaining and be requesting transfers because they are really high rated. So at the end of the day, it might not even be worth it. So, Jokeres, thank you for your contribution. At this point, it's all about trophies. Inter has done the same. They got to the Champions League final. They're playing against Juventus and we will step right into it. Lahovic, Keane up top. Joan Neves, Vierman. Interesting signings from Juventus, but our team. I mean, look at that. Frimpong, Di Marco, Fernandes and... Uh, not Fernandes, Fernandes. On the fan, a bunch of these guys actually below 90, so it is technically a worse team than AC Milan, but you can still win it. Good luck, lads. Can you pull it off? 
No, you cannot. No, you cannot. We have brought in Haaland for this. You've got to be kidding, Inter. You have to be doing better than this, lads. Okay, so in the league, have you won that? Yes, they have, but whoa, that was a close call. 86 points on both teams. And in the cup, they didn't win that either. Okay, so we are looking at a side that only managed to pick up one trophy. And in terms of goals, 33. That's more than AC Milan. 50 million additional on top of Inter's budget next season. The only big win they can really talk about is the fact that both of their strikers had more goals, which is very impressive, of course. But guys, Inter needs to step up two. No, sorry, three trophies for them, four for AC Milan. Let's move into the next season. End of the next season. And guess what? We have our team with AC Milan in the Champions League final against Liverpool. So let's see if they can win this. Because obviously, so far, we are still quite close to Inter in the title race here. And the trophy race, I should say. But AC Milan wins it in the 89th minute with Theo Hernandez stepping up. Marquinhos in the 32nd. That was not enough. Theo scores two goals as a left back. Very impressive, buddy. Let's move on, though, across to the league table. Let's see if they have been able to win multiple trophies. So, yes, they have. That's two trophies for AC Milan, making it a total of six trophies so far the race is on inter needs to step up and ideally win the treble next season this is gonna be heated between these two cities and in the final ac milan did not take part they dropped out against torino in the quarter finals and in terms of goal contributions we can take a look at it it doesn't really matter anymore whoa 52 and 8 yeah, Gyokeres on a 94 rating. Ain't no joke. Inter have done it. Champions League finalists against a Napoli side that managed to hold on to Quaradona and Ozymen and add in players like Palacios, Pickford. Okay, well, let's see if they can stop us. Inter going after it all. I mean, look at that side. It is insane. Lowest rated player is Van de Ven with an 89. It is a world-class team that should be winning everything. And they do exactly that with a substitute, Satriano, coming onto the pitch and scoring. Once again, showcasing that rating isn't everything. But that is only one trophy for Inter. We need more for this squad. And for that, oh, I did not see that coming at all. They have only come in third place, losing the title to AC Milan. And then in a Coppa Italia... It's victory. Okay, so with that being said, Inter picks up two trophies, taking their total to five. That's okay. It's okay, but here's the thing. Next season, because both teams have now won the Champions League, right? They will have a chance to win the Super Cup of Europe. And I will actually count that one because I feel like that's a significant trophy still. So, lads, it could be the end if AC Milan wins everything next season. Davi Nunez with 32 goals as he finishes this season. Let's move over to AC Milan for the next year. UEFA Super Cup won by AC Milan, taking their tally to seven trophies. I said it before, it would count. And now we're going to Coppa Italia and we are seeing that they have won on penalties. That makes it eight trophies for AC Milan in the Serie A, they are in first place, making it nine trophies for AC Milan as we speak. They could genuinely just get it done right here and now and just leave Inter in the dust if they made it to the Champions League final. And yes, they did. My friends, they did. This AC Milan side has benefited massively from the fact that Rafa Leao's release clause was triggered. From that point on, we were able to bring in some of the most ridiculous players out there. And this is the moment. If AC Milan wins this game against PSG with Mbappe, Doku, Dembele, oh my God. If they win this game, that means they have won it all. AC Milan, this is your chance to crush Inter Sol. It is...
AC Milan doing it. Rodrigo with the brace. And with that, the battle is done. The rebuild battle has finished. AC Milan dominates it and actually ends up winning twice the amount of trophies that Inter has won with five. Lads, this has been some journey. This was so much fun to record. 43 goals on Gioqueres. He has been outstanding. In the past two seasons, he managed to get like 100 goal contributions. This guy is nuts. Guys, thank you, every single one of you, for watching. This is your winning team. Inter mathematically can only get up to nine trophies by the end of the season. So with that being said, it is finished. These guys have done it. I'm so impressed. And I got to say, I'm glad. We brought back the rebuild battles. I will catch you on the next one. Let me know in the comments down below which one it should be. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Take care and peace.